Mr. Spark here and welcome back to the channel and today we are playing Eco. I did do a bit of stuff off camera because I've been really getting into the game recently. But um, I will show you what I did off camera. It wasn't much but I wanted to start with this path here to um, fix it a little bit. I actually did find out though on the edges right here that are right next to where the ramps join. I would gotta put a solid block under here because grass keeps growing through it. Which is kind of realistic but kind of pisses me off at the same time. Also, um, to get all this stone, I was going to extend the road down a bit further to go down to the beach, which I thought I could create like a little mine there where I could just start digging up sand. And uh, that would be all right, wall it off a bit so it doesn't look like I'm just stealing from the environment. Make it look a tiny bit neat, you know? Um, but yeah, I will do that eventually because that's a lot more, uh, I don't know, a lot more conservative whereas if I want to get okay if I want to get masonry motor or mortar right now I need to uh, use wood pulp because that's a lot more abundant than sand but it takes a lot of trees so uh, it's not really a good idea in my opinion because I've chopped down a lot of trees so far to try and get all that wood pulp so expanding the sand actually is way better for the environment which is what I'm going for as well I actually we got that kiln in the last video and I said I wanted to put that up so um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I actually started it already because I did think, hello, can you open please? Thank you. Um, I didn't want to dig up the land in the video, but I decided to put it up here. If you look at the kiln here, the kiln actually needs, uh, where's the two? It needs 45 meters cubed for, or free volume to, uh, actually function. And I then realized that I couldn't get away with the basic 5x5 five five room because if you got 5x5 five five, there's a 3x3 three three inside and then it's only 27 meters cubed of available space. So then I had to expand to a 7x7 seven seven, so it was a 5x5 five five on the inside. And you might be wondering why I didn't just go for a 6x6 six six, because I totally could have gotten away with that. Problem was is it doesn't have a one door like entrance because with an even number of blocks on the side for a house you can't have one door because it looks really stupid then so I was stuck with the 7x7 seven seven, which is pretty large but I mean a kiln's going in here so it makes sense but I suppose I'll get started with the floor I might start a speed run right here actually so um yeah I used I used to love doing these a lot and I haven't done any like of them recently I suppose so here is going to be a speed run Ta da oh yeah I looked at this before and someone corrected me not a speed run time lapse I meant time lapse all right there we go now Start the time lapse. I live inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep. I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush And hold your breath and feel the touch 
ascension Devil's hide behind redemption Honesty is a one-way gate to hell I want to taste consumption It's faster to waste oxygen Hear the children sing aloud It's music to the wick All right, the whole entire place is officially finished Look at this, it's so nice, I love it um, that's one thing I gotta say I really love about this game. The buildings, it takes a long time to get stuff to look right, but once you do it, like, that really does not look right, but whatever. I'm, I'm fine with it. Uh, it's not, definitely not killing me on the inside, but when you get a building that looks right, it looks really nice. And I also got an idea, too. I kind of want to put a door right here, have a patio that hangs over right here, get rid of all this dirt, and make this two stories high. I really kind of want to do that, because I feel like that'd be really cool. Then I could have a uh, trail going out over there, move this house back a tiny bit, make it two stories high. Have like a bridge going over to it. Then make a trail that goes up on top of the hill. I just think that'd be really cool. Uh, but I don't know. I'm not too sure. I gotta make a door though. Because that would be very handy. I need three logs. I'm not gonna make the hewn log door because I don't like it. Actually, yes, I'm going to make that one. Reason being is because it is for the kiln. So, I mean... It looks more proper whereas these look like residential doors for houses um, I want this one to look industrial I'm gonna go grab the kiln too that that's probably a really good idea cuz that is what I'm doing shit I need food why does everything always got to come and smack me oh yeah that's something I'm going to get started in the next video too I really need to get started with farming because you know without it you know all this foods not gonna last me forever in fact I'm already running into difficulties with uh, finding food is that food down there no, it is not. God damn it. Oh, food, finally. Okay. There's only a tiny bit left. I'm definitely going to have to get started with the um, the farm really soon. Because this is, this is bad. This is really bad. That's all that I can find. Okay, I found some beets. I think we're good for right now. But like I said, definitely going to have to get started with that in the next video. Because uh, this video, I'm not going to get that done. Uh, this I've already been recording for 20 minutes. Holy shit. Time flies, man. Time flies. I Like, when I was younger, time felt like it was moving so slow. And now time feels like it's non-existent. It really makes me mad. But uh, I'm gonna go... Okay, yeah, this door is thick. Holy shit. Anyways. um, Go get the kiln. I'm, I'm curious as to how big this is, too. Because I made the place... I... S it's a 2x2. Two two. Are you serious? I thought it was a 3x3. Three three. Oh, that's really shitty. Now I'm gonna have to place it in the corner or something. Well, shit. That is not something I wanted to do. I wanted to keep everything very symmetrical, but whatever. I mean, it still works. I'll just put like a chair over here or some shit where I can sit down crafting. I don't feel it. That's alright. I do want to craft a bloomery though. We really need one. But for right now, we don't need it. Haha, <laughs> fun fact. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about the door too. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, I completely forgot about the door too, so uh gonna put that on. And boom, look at that. That's that that actually really suits it. It's a very nice door, I gotta say. I recommend the door. Does this door open and close faster? It really looks like it. One second, let me check this over here. It really does seem like it closes faster, but whatever. Um Oh yeah, one thing I also gotta do too is I gotta finish up with down here. So I might do that there now. Alright, I gotta get back on the sand grind because I need to make some uh, mortars, I think. Man, am I talking about bombs here? No, I, I, like, I forget what they're called. Why do I keep forgetting what they're called? Alright, so I'm gonna place down this floor here and then I think that's gonna be it for this video. And one thing that I really learned is to use cubes a lot more than using floors because when you use floors, for example, right here, it doesn't actually bind to the sides at the corners, uh, for stone anyways, it's different for each block. But it's better to use cubes when you're doing floors because it, it like blends really nicely with everything else and it's just very good. So uh, yeah, if you're playing the game and you're wondering why it doesn't look that nice, use cubes. It's way better. And the floor is done for both sides. Look how lovely that looks. Oh my god. Love it. So that is going to be it for this video. Um, it's actually almost 10 o'clock where I am so I can't really be that loud sadly uh, because I love being loud um, but yeah I can't really do that currently 
Um, but hopefully you enjoyed the video because I definitely did. Not as much done in this video as last video. Last video I got an absolute ton done. I was recording for two hours to be fair. So, I mean, hey, it's a trade-off. But we did get this house done with a kiln inside. Finally, I wasn't able to do this in any of the other series. I wasn't able to get this far, I don't think. I don't think. Maybe the first series. Yeah, I think the first series I was able to get this far. But besides that, or first season. Besides that, this is the second time. So you know I'm doing good at this point. So uh, that's pretty awesome. I know this is only like the start to the game. But you know, it's like, it feels good, man. It feels good. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to leave a like down below. And if you want to see more content like this on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to stay notified every time I upload. Or at least whenever YouTube wants to notify you that I uploaded. Because YouTube's like that sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's been Haunted Spark. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace up in. Wait, what?